keeping in line with the whole royal theme I'm just doing at the moment, I've made this little crowns to sit on the cupcake that I've just decorated. I've used a texture mat to give some texture to the top of the, or the, the bottom of the uh, cake, wherever, whatever you want to call it, the, the crowns are sitting on, and then made the little crowns, and I've made the red and blue to keep in that sort of traditional theme. And you could do them in any colour, you could do them for pink for a uh, princess fair, uh, party, or uh, any colour you like. Blue for a little boy's king's party, whatever. Anyway, I've just rolled out a strip of fondant, not very big because they were only making little crowns. And then using a very cheap little piping tip, I have a, um, here, I've basically come along and I've just taken some little circles out. Now, I'm taking the circles out, moving along, trying to take the same amount out, so it's as deep, and leaving a little spot where... You'll see in a minute, there's a little bit of a piece coming up in the middle. So you can see that. So moving right along, I do that. And I, th I tend to find that like four is, whoops, I need to do that a little bit deeper. Four is about a uh, good number for a crown, as in four spikes. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I've got one, two, three, and one more. Trying to make them all about the same depth and cut. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then cutting the ends where I haven't needed them. I might just take that off so it wraps around nicely. And I'll make this one just a little deeper because I want it to match up. So then we have a piece left like that, and all you do is bring it up, bend it round, and join it together. You just use a little bit of water to just join that end up, and if you're not happy with where it's sitting, you can cut it a little bit just to make sure it doesn't overlap too much, but just joins at the end. You can bend these out if you want, you can stand them up if you want, but effectively I tend to dry them like that. And I've made two of them and then uh, overlap them. And there you have your little crown. It's really easy. It's really fun. You can even decorate it. What I've also done sometimes is I've got the cashews, silver, blue, pink, you get them all different colours. And I've, I've let this dry. I usually have to make it a little bit thicker, but then put a dollop of water just dump, dump, dump on the end of each piece of the crown. Get one of these and you can stick it on as jewels or you can put them as around the base or something like that. And you can basically make really pretty little crowns. Again, you can do it for a princess party in pinks and silvers and things. It's lots of fun, but easy to do. Have fun.